He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them points of views when I see it my way Yes and no's, yes and no's, maybe so's, probably not Shoulds and coulds, do's and don'ts, your woods and wants is how you rock Politicians and religions on your house or are you ready? Is you married? Is you single? Met an interest when you mingle Turn out to be someone you into So how long before the bed get wrinkled? When they trippin', is it time out or do you whip them? Opinions and decisions, hunches, intuitions May or may not get it, cause people's experience different Check the prejudice, set the dope You give the flow, tell the truth if it's sweet or sour Cause the hour we spittin' that fire Hello everyone, this is Spin Fire coming to you with another one. Now, Kyle has, uh, since the last video I dropped, Kyle has came out and apologized to his family. He apologized to Shell and everything else, and he was just emotional about some things, and he said he took it to the internet and all those type of things. And these are the type of things that I love to hear. When family feud, you know, play out, and then they also is not too proud to definitely apologize to it. And this is one of the things I was saying about people need to mind their own business when it pertains to uh, family drama. Let the family go ahead on and do what they do. And if you are a viewer, just go ahead and look at it for views and, and entertainment, but don't get involved with it. But we have people on these internet streets that literally, literally uh, had a lot to say. And so we're going to definitely take a listen to what Kyle had to say in his apology and what he feeling, okay? Because I can tell you, as I'm getting to watch his videos and things of that nature, I can tell you that is Hollis' grandson because he's the most coolest cat I have ever met and only the grandson of uh, Miss Holler on Grandmama These YouTube Streets uh, can only be as cool and collective as he is, all right? Now, I may not agree with a lot of the things he said previously when he was coming for his sister, but since he did apologize, all right, and we're going to listen to what uh, Kyle had to say. Let's take a listen. Good afternoon, America. Good afternoon, America. <clears throat> Some of y'all probably seen the um, that uh, that old apology I posted on my YouTube. That was an old apology because this this ain't the first time. I've done this. This is not the first time I've done this, and I'm I can't sit up and honestly tell y'all that this might be the last time I'm gonna do it. I don't I don't know if I suffer from depression or bipolar. I don't know. I I I can't really tell y'all that because I've never thought to go to the hospital or a doctor. And See if I'm really fucked up in the head. I know I do some fucked up shit. I know that. I, I, yeah, I, I know I do some fucked up shit. But I had, I had a conversation with an elder, one of the elders men of my family, who I highly respect. I had a conversation. And it kind of it, it brought it brought a new light to to how I was thinking and, and, and how I was moving and the, the the shit I was saying and doing and you know what I'm saying. First and for, foremost, foremost, first and foremost, I want to extend an apology to. My grandmother, my sister, and Janice. I, I deeply, I deeply and truly want to send an apology to those three people. Now everybody else, fuck you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else who I named to say something about other than my grandmother, 
my sister and Janice, fuck you. I mean that. I stand on that. I don't know you. I don't want to be your friend. I don't, I don't want to shake your hand. I don't want to fake he he and hi hi with you. I don't want to do that. I don't know you niggas, man. I don't know you niggas, man. I owe you niggas no loyalty. You owe me no loyalty. And speaking of on, my sister don't owe me shit. You feel what I'm saying? She pulled her phone out, recorded our grandmother, and that shit struck ghetto gold. She became America's grandmother. Hollywood never became America's grandmother if it wasn't for her granddaughter who has a family that she has a responsibility to take care of. Jealousy, greed, and envy are all devilish traits. They're all traits of the devil. Jealousy, greed, and envy are all Jealousy, greed, and envy are all devilish traits. Honestly, until today, well, until I had the conversation with one of my elders. Okay, so you see uh, Kyle apologized to uh, some people in his family particularly his sister. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I say what I said the other day when I made the, the uh, video, okay? And this is why people need to really mind their business. Now, I had a conversation. We were going back and forth with another person, another viewer, who was saying that, you know, the money that they were collecting should have paid for clean the house, should have did this, should have did that. Now, I don't know the family, and I don't know if that's how they raised up. I don't know if that was Holland's house. I don't know anything. But I do know that a lot of elderly people people um back in my day the ones some of the ones some not all but a lot of them though uh you know kept a you know a, a, a hoarder style house you know they just didn't believe in throwing anything away and that could have been her house and she never believed in that I don't know but because I'm not there to take care of her or anything like that it's not for me to say to clean up the house or they could pay somebody to clean the house up or whatever. She might not have wanted nobody to throw anything away or anything like that or wasn't that whatever. So, um, I just wanted to stay out of that. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to tell somebody how to do and what to do with their house because they invited us in. And so to invite somebody into your house and then critique how they're living, it's kind of, you know, rude. It, it might, it might, it might, it might take right. And the money that they raised was probably not before of them to clean the house. I mean, it didn't stop Holla from maneuvering. It didn't stop her from doing anything that she was going to do. And I just think that. And but see, this is the reason why we should not get in the family feud. This is the reason why viewers should stick back, sit back, and just be viewers. But of course. People are all going to have their opinion when you open it up to the internet. And so Kyle has spoken. And like I said, I think he's one of the coolest cats. Okay, I think he's, just, but of course he is because he's Holla's son. All right, in the meantime, between time, I'm going to bring you some updates on this as it unfolds. This has been Fire, Fire Out.